first day of basic girl week when we're in Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum. I wrote it off as basic before. I wanted to give it another shot after Balak, if I'm saying your name right, made a comment on a video saying how beautiful it was with rose. So giving it a full wearing today, it's okay. Definitely get this like salt vinegar vibe with sweet jammy rose and a little bit of a generic playful vibe, but it's nice. I'll report back. Driving to the university to go teach. I'll be there all day. It's about quarter to 11 a.m. I'll be there till probably about 7 p.m. So we got a long day of work ahead. Kind of see how it does. I think I have five sprays. I put four on the outside behind each ear and then one under the chest just to keep track. And I have one on my hand that I put on earlier this morning just to kind of test it and see if I wanted to actually wear it. I took a shower since then, so it's not all that present, but still technically there, at least with the dry down. It's nice. Is it special? No, but I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about it, to giving it a chance and seeing if it surprises me as much as Gucci Guilty Absolute does. That one keeps my interest. Uh, so we'll see about it. All right, it's been almost five hours. Finished teaching the bulk of the work I had to do for the day. I had to meet with five trumpet students, all back to back to back to back to back. And I got a little break before I'm teaching one of the ensembles later. Uh, Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum is doing well. It's still here. I'm still smelling it. I was catching wafts while I was teaching and mostly enjoying it. All in all, it's a little bit more interesting to me when I smell into it a little bit. I, I like the dry down even more than the opening, but it's a little forgettable. When it's just in the air and I notice it, it doesn't capture me, which is actually maybe good because it would just be distracting while I was teaching, but it's kind of forgettable. I just kind of like, or oh, it's there and it's fine. And I know that it will secure me smelling good to anyone who comes around, but it doesn't really move me. But this is what this week is about is giving these scents some time and some chance to just, you know, be functional. This is what they're for. They're made to just allow you to smoothly fit into the environment, not really stir up anything and mostly just smell good, which is fine. So enjoying it. I still have yet to have Grace try it on me or smell it on me. So I'll see her later tonight. She'll probably say something or nothing, but either way, I will report back. <laughs> Weird lighting. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but our second entry in Basic Bro Week is Crete Aventus. Now, I'm not mad at this fragrance. This is actually really special because I haven't worn this in at least three or four years. I've had this bottle, I wore it a ton, obviously, years ago, and then it hasn't been worn at all. So I'm calling it Basic Bro because it's so mainstream, it's everywhere. Celebrities are wearing it, athletes are wearing it, everyone's talking about it, it's kind of basic now. Doesn't mean it's not a, a great smell, it has a beautiful complexity to it, and objectively, regardless of all the clones, it's a unique scent profile. But within today's world, it's kind of basic now. So I'm gonna spray it on, a couple sprays, don't need much. The angle's even weirder now, but it'll all be over soon, I promise. <laughs> one, I forgot how great the atomizer is. I put it on my hand earlier today and that's what actually spurred me to wear it today because uh, I hadn't smelled it in a long time. I hadn't sprayed it in a while. We're gonna do one personal spray, like half a spray. It's so weird. It smells like what I remember it smelling like early on. I was convinced my bottle was going bad, but now I'm not so sure. It's super fruity. This is a 2016 bottle for those of you who care. So very pineapple-y. I'm digging it. I'll report back. Sorry again for the weird angles. We're on to day three of Basic Bro Week. The Ventus was a nice wearing experience. I enjoyed it. I didn't have a chance to follow up, of course, last night, but I really enjoyed the experience. Um, I have noticed that the smell of my bottle is mostly intact. It's not as bright as it was, but still is juicy. But the longevity has definitely suffered a little bit. But I don't really mind. It smelled nice. Grace enjoyed it. It's kind of weird. I was like, man, I don't remember the last time I enjoyed the Ventus. I just really enjoyed it. Maybe I'll keep wearing it. We'll see. I used to wear it a ton 
years back. Anyway, today's choice. This is a cologne. This was actually just sent to me by my friends at Fragrapedia House. They sent me from Spirit of Kings, a brand I've been seeing but have not smelled anything from. This is called Arrakis. This is a clone of Bulgari Tigar, which is known to be this simplistic, mass appealing monster. I have smelled it. Wonderful scent, very simple, borderline basic. And I think what makes it basic for me, this is kind of weird, is the price. It is so overpriced for what you get. Yeah, it lasts a long time, but for that scent profile, it's too much money. I'm curious to see how this wears. I haven't worn it yet. This is my first wearing. So I do like this scent profile. I sprayed it on paper last night. So we're gonna see how it wears on skin. Just gonna do a couple sprays. And then one for me. Juicy, sweet grapefruit, fresh, a little metallic, woody, not very natural smelling, very synthetic smelling, but not in a scratchy way, just a non-natural way, but smells really nice. Again, a little basic for me, so we'll see how it wears. I will report back. I'm off to do a recording session for the day, so we'll see how it does. beautiful day. Today's the next day. I didn't have a chance to report back doing push-ups, so I'm out of breath. Spirit of Kings, a raucous. Honestly, I need to spend another day with this fragrance. I think I sprayed a bit more conservatively than was necessary to get a true feeling for it. It wasn't as strong as I was expecting it to be. I was, you know, picking it up for most of the day, but I wasn't really getting the essence of it to truly assess it. So, what I can say, it was nice. I felt confident that I smelled good in my recording session, which you saw a clip from. You know, no one said anything and it just kind of smells good. It's just another way of smelling clean. It's really nice though. It is really nice. I do look forward to trying it again. If you want to check it out, again, my friends at Fragrapedia House have it. You can even sample it from them if I'm not mistaken. And you can use the code LUX. 2023, at least at the time of filming this, to sample it or to try it or try anything from the site. So I'm gonna have a link down below, but maybe I'll try that one again, more to come. Next day, kind of, these are being split up a bit. Honestly, I'm not doing it every single day, but we're getting seven days, we're pushing for that. Today's pick is a popular one, Aqua di Gio Profumo. Haven't worn this in years. I don't dislike it. Again, I'm just not moved by it. I'm not gonna wear it just because I want people to like me. I wanna wear it because I love it, but I like it. Gonna give it a wearing. One, two, with collared shirts, open collars. I like to, again, spray the inside collar. Again, noticing I don't spray right on the front. And I think we'll do one more in the very back. And we're good. So, I'll check back later. About to go teach some trumpet. Let's have fun. Somehow do not know what Aqua di Gio Profumo smells like. Wow. But nonetheless, welcome because you must be so brand new to fragrances. Fresh, aquatic, salty and minerally. There's a little bit of a smokiness from incense, a little bit of a woody backbone. That pretty much sums it up. It doesn't change very much on the skin. If you've smelled the original Aqua di Gio, which I would think that if you haven't then maybe you're not from earth in which case I have a lot of questions because I'm curious about the rest of the universe but if you've smelled that then imagine a darker version of it stronger darker maybe more modern I actually happen to like it more than the original and I actually like it more than all of the new flankers as well but all that being said it still doesn't really move my spirit but it smells nice. Anyway, we're driving. I'm gonna go. 
seven hours later. And yeah, been living with Aqua de Jo Profumo for the day. Been able to smell it all day. It performs as it has been reported to perform, you know, but it's okay, it's fine. I could see the function of a fragrance like this, and obviously I have function because I have the fragrance, as something where every now and then, I just could not imagine this being the only type of fragrance I would wear all the time, or at least most of the time. It really comes down to like, what are you wearing it for? And it could be multi, purpose, there could be multiple reasons. Yes, who doesn't want to smell nice and be likable to those around us, but there's more to life than that. It's deeper than just that. So every now and then, sure. All the time, no, I would lose my mind. I'd rather not wear fragrance than have to wear Aqua de Jo Profumo or something like it every single day. So that's the end of this day. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but real quick, I want to show you this beautiful view. Wow. It's stunning, right? And then this little girl making our couch last longer. Thank you, Penny. All right, we're back with another installment. I have to say, guys, this is kind of a hard series for me to film. I just haven't been super consistent with it. It doesn't seem like it for you, but it has been three weeks since I started filming this, since the first segment. <laughs> it's crazy. We're getting close. And we're not just doing designers. You guys just think I'm gonna do designer fragrances as basic. No, it's not just designers. This is a great scent from Soradora called Gladiator. It's gotten a little bit of buzz over the past year or so. It smells a little bit reminiscent to Aventus. You can tell it's not a clone. It's definitely a twist, definitely inspired by it. it has its own thing. But all in all, as it sits on the skin, it is kind of blue and fresh. It's really nice. It does have a good quality to it, but it's not inspiring. It doesn't inspire me. It's kind of basic. I call it basic bro. In the air, it smells like it could be a designer fragrance, but it is really nice and it has good performance for a freshie. So we're gonna wear this for today. About to go teach. It's a beautiful day outside. I'll show you uh, in a little bit, but we're gonna put this on first. Let's do... These atomizers are pitiful, by the way. That's my only gripe with this house. It's like so shallow. I don't understand that. Does anybody else deal with that? We'll put one more on the back of the neck. It smells really nice. It's just, it could be a Dior. Honestly, this could be a Dior scent. Anyway, smells nice. It's fresh, it's minty, spicy woody, a little blue, a little fruity in the Aventus vibe, but not again all the way there. It is a little different. So I'll come back with more. See you in a bit. All right, now before I have some guys coming at me in the comments saying like, how could you say this is a basic fragrance? It's amazing. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. And I do have to say that context is everything. Soradora has other fragrances that I find much more interesting. Some of them are even a bit challenging. So this doesn't encompass the entire house and everything they have to offer. And I understand that, you know, houses that come out, they're brand new, they're breaking into the scene and they wanna do well, they need something. They need some offering that is going to catch. It's gonna appeal to as many people as possible very quickly and be a gateway into the brand and everything else they have to offer. I talked about this in a recent video about uh, fragrances being discontinued. You can check that out, it's linked up above. So I totally get it. They needed something to catch. And I think it's catching for them. It could easily be a bestseller if it isn't already, but they do have some other stuff. So I am happy to say that without hesitation. I don't put this as a judgment on the whole brand. But Gladiator is, you know, I guess it's doing what it was intended to do. I can say that. So anyway, I'm in traffic now. I'm going to report back with more later, but it's crazy out here. I don't know what's happening. It's not usually this bad. I'm out. Let's not do, let's do it all. Why not? So slur tongue and we'll go in that order for each line. Okay. 
shot there. One, two, slurred. <sighs> Okay, had a full afternoon of teaching, five students all back to back. It can be a little bit much at times, but we made it through and there's a lot of positive moments. So I'm sitting here, I got a little bit of time before I'm gonna teach one more class and I can finally go home. Um, I'm sitting here using my time wisely, or at least trying to, and editing a video and just taking some alone time because I've just been around people for like five straight hours. So need a little bit of time to recharge. Hope you enjoyed that little clip from earlier. That's uh, one of my more advanced students, I would say. And he does great. Anyway, Gladiator is a fragrance that, as I've said before, it captures my attention, but not really my interest. The fact that it's pretty strong, it's keeping my attention throughout the day. I'm noticing it. It's been like six hours, almost seven hours. It's still here. I can still smell it. But what I get is just, eh, it's forgettable. It's nice, but it's forgettable. Fragrances like this are not for me. I was gonna say are not for the wearer, but there are people who might be moved by this. I'm not moved by this, so this fragrance isn't for me, it's for everyone around me to enjoy. So I can live with that, that's fine, but it's not usually what I choose to wear because I have to live with it for the whole day, even in a room by myself, it's just me and I don't really care for it. I hope you get what I'm saying. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, I already have no time. I literally have no time, I'm late. But I wanted to get this in. It is a week later. I have some thoughts to share. I'm not gonna share them right now because I need to get out of the house, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm wearing today. And then I'm gonna share some thoughts with you on the way to go teach. Once again, this is like week five. I don't know what it is, but we're going with Chanel Allure Home Sport O Extreme. This is heralded as a verified compliment magnet, and that's why a lot of guys wear it. I don't really wear this. In fact, my wife doesn't like this fragrance when I wear it. One of the few that she actually doesn't like. I'm not gonna see her most of the day, so hopefully the dry down will not be too offensive for her later. We're gonna go ahead and spray it on. We'll do one, two, three, four. I don't know if I have stains on my shirt, it's very possible that I do. So we're just gonna do four sprays. That's about all I can handle with this stuff. A lot of you already know what it smells like, I'm sure. It's kind of fresh, spicy, some sweet, fruity citrus in there. A little powdery. It is its own thing. I do appreciate that about it. It's based on the original DNA, which did create something a little bit different. And they're amping that up, making it sweeter, making it sexier, or whatever, but still kind of sporty, I guess. But all in all, it's really nothing all that special. It's just nice. I'll report back with more. See you in a bit. As promised, some thoughts. Number one, this has really been a struggle, as I said. I honestly forget that I have these fragrances and I've even, even in the structure of this vlog and making myself wear them, I keep forgetting. And it's only on these days where I have to drive and I'll be gone out of the house all day where I remember like, oh yeah, I need to keep doing this and finish it. And that has reminded me that I wear fragrances first for me, second for my wife. And that's it. I don't really wear them for anyone else. I'm not really thinking about other people out in the world and what they're going to think. Because even if I see them for a few minutes, that's it. And then I'm 
with myself for the rest of the day. I gotta live with me, and that includes what I smell like. Fire truck. And finally, I can see the value of having a few fragrances like this in your collection. Having these easy wear, these dumb reach, these ones that people say get them a lot of compliments. And that doesn't have to mean that you wear it for compliments. It could just mean that you can rest assured that most people are going to at least enjoy them. They may not say anything, but they're not going to find it offensive. I totally see the value in that. However, I can't stand having a collection that is purely these types of fragrances or maybe even mostly these types of fragrances. Wearing only these fragrances every day just to smell good for other people, that is honestly kind of exhausting to me. You're putting on a front every day. And I've totally been there. As many of you guys already know, when I stepped away from my channel, I was in a phase where at least 80, 90% of my collection was Chanel Alorum Sport Extreme and fragrances like it. And I was jaded really quick. So just not for me, not my cup of tea. I'm getting it in the air around me now. I can easily tell that this will be a fragrance that's gonna be with me all day. I will be smelling it all day. It will have my attention pretty much all day, but it's not gonna have my interest because I'm already kind of sick of it. I only put on four sprays. It's pretty dang sweet. It smells quite synthetic and it's like objectively pleasant, but subjectively I'm not enjoying what I'm smelling. It's, it's fine. So I'm kind of hoping my brain will shut it off and I won't smell it anymore after a while. And then we'll see about what Grace thinks. And that's a big part. Again, the distance between first and second place of what I wear my fragrances for is very, very small. Just so you guys know, even though I wear it for me first and her second, Every time I've worn one of these fragrances for one of these segments that I filmed, I never tell her about it until I see her at the end of the day and only after she hugs me and then, oh, what are you wearing? You know, and then she'll ask me what I'm wearing and it just happens to be one of these very simpleton kind of basic scents. And she's like, oh yeah, you're doing the thing for your vlog. And she always would notice, you're, oh, you're, you wouldn't normally wear this today. What is this, you know? And she's just not moved by these fragrances, which is a blessing because I can wear just about anything else, any of the challenging stuff I wanna wear, or anything that I just find moving to me, she's generally gonna like. So I got lucky in that regard. I'm not having to please a simple nose. No shame to anyone who is. So anyway, we're getting on the highway. I'm gonna go, I'll see what other kind of footage I can get. I know this has not been a very exciting vlog and I do apologize for that it's more been kind of a philosophy session on the go just like me out in the world sharing my thoughts on these fragrances I wanted it to be more conceptual I know it's not the most entertaining but life is not always super exciting sometimes we got to talk about real stuff I'll see you later it's the end of the day. I was waiting for this moment. Grace is here. <laughs> She's not gonna be on camera right now. She just got home from work, but I wanted to see how she feels about this. I already told you guys how she feels about it. And so she just came home, she just smelled me. And the first thing she asked me was, Are you wearing something for your basic bro video? <laughs> <laughs> she recognized it immediately. She said it was powdery, is that? Yeah. It's powdery, mm -hmm. okay. I don't you don't feel great about it. That is consistent. I know. Okay. And does it smell familiar? It does smell familiar. Okay. And this fragrance, which we have talked about in the video before, is Chanel. Oh. Allure on Sport. Or Extreme. Yes. Not a fan. She. This was blind. She didn't know what it was. I didn't even tell her I was doing a segment today. So she knew it from the smell. She knew that she didn't enjoy it. Anyway, that's it. I'm not trying to send a message. Maybe I am, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we are back with our final segment. I didn't wait a full week this time. Today's Monday. I'm getting ready to head to a rehearsal and I'm, I gotta warm up a little bit. I might do a few minutes of warming up on camera. My final basic bro fragrance is one I actually really, really like. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. This is the Eau de Parfum. I've liked this DNA for years now. I don't wear it that much because it, again, it doesn't really excite me, but for something simple, this is honestly one of the top picks I might reach for. It is 
a little bit more interesting than your average easy reach, super versatile fragrance. And honestly, I do believe it is kind of timeless. Even though I just said it's basic in a way, it's timeless. So do not take this from me saying this is not a worthy fragrance. I like it a lot. Not the first one I would go for if I'm looking for something to wear for myself, but I do think objectively speaking, it is a very special fragrance. We're gonna put some on. I don't plan on wearing this all day. I plan on putting something else on maybe later on. So gonna go a little bit lighter on this. We're gonna do one, two, three, and then personal spray under the shirt. Yeah, it's nice. It's like a zingy, gingery, sweet, ambery tobacco. Yeah, a little spicy, a little bit fresh, warm, sweet, a little sexy, a little cozy smelling. I don't need to say much more about it because I'm sure you've smelled it. I don't think there's anything new I can offer about it, but I do enjoy it. So I'm gonna do a few segments here of me playing. I might even try to get some footage at the rehearsal and then I'll try to report back at the very end to wrap this all up because what a journey this has been. Again, it's only been minutes for you, but for me, it's been weeks. I'll see you soon. sitting here at the university. It has been quite a while since I started this video. I'm actually sitting here editing it. I'm at the end of the footage, realizing that I don't actually have a clip to wrap it up. So this is the wrap up. I think I've said everything I need to say. I think you get the idea. I'm not trying to bash these fragrances. And most importantly, I'm not trying to put down anyone who likes to wear them and enjoys them. But I just wanted to add clarity to my philosophy, why 
I talk about what I talk about and why I don't talk about what I don't talk about. Fragrance to me is much more than about pleasing other people and making myself more likable and raising my self-esteem. I've been there, I've walked that path. We all have a journey, maybe you're still at that point and that's okay, but I'm beyond that point now. I'm looking at it as art, I'm looking at it as an extension of my own expression. So I invite you to maybe look at it the same way or similarly, maybe it'll take some time, that's okay, but I think when you get there, you'll see the richness, you'll see the beauty, you'll see how transcendental it can really be. It's not just about spending a ton of money, it's about buying what you love and wearing what you love for you first. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little look into my life. My student didn't show up, but I had time to finish editing. So hope you're well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.